going to show you how to get started in uh, using Code Warrior to program an HES 9S12 microcontroller from uh, Freescale. So let's open up the Code Warrior. So just go ahead and close this window, go to File, Startup Dialog, and here select Create New Project. Now you want to select the chip you want to program out of all this list. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the MC9S12DT256 and also a full chip simulation. In this window, since we are programming an assembly, Go ahead and deselect C and select Absolute Assembly. Click Next, Finish. Double click in the main file to open it. This is where you're going to type your code. Now you get all this uh, code that's already typed for you, but uh, go ahead and delete everything after CLI and before the interrupt vectors. So this is where we want to start typing our code. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, just type two lines of code to show you how to run the program. If you don't know what those two lines means, mean, don't worry about it. So these are my uh, two lines of code. And uh, what I'm saying here is I'm going to put the value 40 in hexadecimal in accumulator A and then store the value of accumulator A into memory 1500 in hexadecimal. Now go ahead and uh, click this debug button. and you're gonna get this window so I'm gonna go ahead and maximize it now inside that inside this window you get uh, several more windows assembly register procedure memory command data and source the ones I'm gonna show you The ones I want to show you how they work are assembly, register, and memory. In assembly, you get uh, the lines of code that you typed in your program along with uh, the other lines produced by all this other code. In the uh, register window, you have your uh, accumulators B, A, B and your registers X, Y and of course you also have your IP, your PC, your CCR flags and uh, your SP so in this register window you can see the contents of all those registers and accumulators in memory you have a list of all the memories and you can see the content that they have now you have a, we haven't actually run the program yet to run it you have to go to run and then you're given different options the first option is start and continue which is uh, you can also access by just uh, hitting the F5 key and what this one does is it starts the program and runs it until the end without stopping single step runs it line by line so you can see what's going on at every step. Uh, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and use F5. So I'm just going to click on it right now. But you can also use the F5 key. And notice that my accumulator A now has a value of 40, which is what I have in my code. 
And if we look at the memory, 1500, you'll also see that it has a value 40. Since in our code we said that uh, we wanted to store the value of the accumulator A into that memory. So that's why both A and the memory 1500 have the same value of 40. So once you're done with you uh, debugging the program, you can close this window and you can edit the code and run it again. This time let's uh, run it step by step. So run single step. This time instead of clicking here, I'm gonna use the uh, F11 key. And notice uh, that in my assembly window, the highlighted line is gonna move down. So right now I'm at this line of my code. The next line is LDAA. That's actually the line I type here, LDAA 40, but this one is in decimal. That's why it says 64. Now notice that my value of A hasn't changed yet. It changes after this line, this highlighted line moves down. So go ahead and hit F11 again. And now it changed to 40. Now I'm at STAA 1500. Let me go down to see what my, what that memory has right now. So notice that right now it doesn't have anything. I'm gonna hit F11 again. And now the value changed to 40 as expected. Now let's go back to the register. Uh, right now all my values are shown in hexadecimal. If you wanna show it in, in another base, right click, format, and choose what you wanna show. So hexadecimal is the default value. You can also select binary, octo, and of course decimal. So this is how you use Code Warrior to get started in assembly for the HCS 12.